Welcome back to another episode of What's Going On. I'm your host, Demita Joe, and we're going to get right into this video now. We have less than 50 days left in 2023, and y'all know I keep trying to stuff like that because I am a fan of starting new habits and kicking old habits and things like that way before the new year, okay? So by the time the new year comes, we're already in the group. That's the goal. You want to already be inside of creating that habit. So we have less than 50 days. And I'm going to tell you a few things that you could do today to start reaching your goals before 2024, okay? There are so many things you can start with, okay? Whether it be something in business, personal development, kicking a bad habit, the list goes on, okay? But I'm going to drop a couple of tips of what you can start working on now. And the first thing is set some specific achievable goals. If you start working on something in the personal growth area, I guarantee it will spread out to other areas in your life. So you can start on something like daily habits. Pick one thing that you either wanna stop doing or something that you want to start doing and add it to your routine every day. Don't make the mistake of making a long list of things that you wanna do. Pick one thing and start there because when you see progress in that one thing, it will encourage you to add other things. So there's a lot going on there and that also affects mindset shifts. A big one that I like to do is called reset and reflection. All right, that's where you look at all your highs and all your lows, reflect on that, what could you have done better, what went right, you know, things like that. And from your analytics, because when you go over that data, it's going to be it's going to give you some insight. You can then reset your goals using the insight that you gain from that reset and reflection. Trust me, it helps. Gratitude practice is good because what you focus on grows. So if you're one of those people who's always worried about something or another, take some time to intentionally start a small gratitude practice. Do it for a week or two and see how things change. Another good one is skill building. Pick a skill, pick something that you either wanna do better in, something that you wanna learn, and work on that skill. As with anything, like I said, the more you do it, your mindset will change and you will start adding different things to that. But pick a skill and work on that skill. And then the last one is an old faithful, but it also is a good one. And that is vision board. There are so many different types of vision boards you can do these days. Me and my sister were actually talking about this last night. And when we were in elementary school, you remember the science fair? And we had to get those huge backboards and like put our projects, you know, step hypothesis, step one, blah, 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 conclusion, all of that, right? Me and my sister used to be uh, the GOAT at setting up those backboards, okay? The science projects used to be so elementary and basic, but the backboards just elevate. So if you're a type of person who likes to visualize your success and you like to do physical vision boards, I recommend the science board size backboards. Trust me, once you get it all set with your visions, it's gonna be lovely. But if you're not a person who wants to do the physical backboard of a vision board, you know, that's fine. There are digital vision boards that you can create these days. You can make one on Pinterest and there's several other apps. You just have to Google it and you'll be able to make one right in your phone or in your iPad, however you prefer to do it. But it definitely helps to visualize what you're working towards. You should always be working towards something. That is what we should be doing. You always want to strive to be better at something. Now, what that something is, is up to you. Anyway, start now, okay? Okay, on to the show. Okay, so today, I got a few things that I want to talk about uh, within the celebrity world that kind of, you know, piqued my interest. One of those things was Bobby Storm. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bobby Storm, but she is a gospel singer, and she was recently nominated for two Grammys. Now, this is her first time being nominated. And uh, we're just gonna take a look at an article on theroof.com because she recently took a flight on Delta and she was singing on the flight because she was excited that she was nominated for Grammys. I can imagine she was so excited and she just wanted to share. Now, I didn't think that what she was doing was a problem and the people on the plane didn't seem to have an issue, but the flight attendant was really bothered by what she was doing. And so we're just gonna take a look at this article that I found on the Grio, and uh, you guys get in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. All right, so here we go. Um, Grammy nominated gospel singer almost kicked off Delta Flight for singing. Now I'm gonna link this article below so that you guys could actually see the video of the interaction between Bobby and the flight attendant. He really was a little perturbed. And it, I don't know, I, I really wanna know what you guys think. 
but gospel singer Bobby Storm was aboard a Delta flight Friday when she decided to use a moment when the seatbelt signs were off to sing her single Up and Down the Isle of the Plane. That same day, Storm found out that she was nominated for two Grammy Awards through her features with famed Maverick City Choir. She wanted to share that joy with everybody else by singing her song, We Can't Forget Him, as everyone sat patiently waiting for their travel day to continue. Now, one of the flight attendants wasn't feeling her mini concert. In a video Storm posted, and I'll, I'll link it below, you can see her politely but sternly being asked to sit back down and lower her voice. Because at the end of the day, she's on a plane. The fastened seatbelt sign was off because the plane has to be pulled back to the gate due to a maintenance issue. Once Storm sits back down, she continues with raised tone to let everybody know now that she is the newly two-time Grammy-nominated artist and used to sing on planes all the time. After she continues to rant about herself or her music, the flight attendant comes to her seat and asks, are you going to be quiet? This question begins a back and forth of Storm trying to prove that God and her fellow travelers want to hear what she has to say and sing. She says she was doing what the Lord is telling her to do. Okay, so you can see uh, from the gist of it, it, you know, she was on there, she was excited, she was trying to share, she, you know, she is a gospel singer, she was trying to share the word. So everybody might not be into the Lord, right? Understood. And so it's interesting how it all played out, okay? He actually told her that she would be removed from the flight if she didn't stop so she continued in the back and sang a little low, little mini concert of the song for the people in the back. And then she shared, uh, you know, she told them where they could get the music and everything like that. So my question to you guys is, you know, would that be something that would bother you if you were on a flight? The flight hadn't left the gate yet. Um, she didn't go on for like an hour or anything like that. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts below? Okay, so the next story I want to talk about is Denzel Washington is going to be playing Hannibal in the new Netflix film. I know what you're thinking, Hannibal Lecter? No. He'll be playing the ancient Carthaginian general in the new film directed by Antoine Fuqua. Let's take a look at the Griot's article really quick about this. So Denzel Washington will take on the role of Hannibal in a forthcoming Netflix film. Antoine Fuqua will direct the untitled film. Washington will play the infamous ancient Carthaginian general, according to Variety. He and Fuqua have worked together on Training Day and the Equalizer Trilogy. The synopsis says the film is based on real-life warrior Hannibal, who is regarded as one of the greatest military commanders in history. The film covers the pivotal battles he led against the Roman Republic during the Second Punic War. Hannibal gained notoriety for his audacious invasion of Italy, where he commanded a North African war elephant as part of his formidable army. However, his fortunes took a turn when the Romans launched a counter-invasion in North Africa, leading to Hannibal's ultimate defeat at the Battle of Zama. And this here is Denzel Washington and Antoine Fuqua. Shouts out to those brothers. I definitely will be watching this film. And I'm gonna make sure that I include this article in the description below as well, because Hannibal Lecter was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, what's the significance? But reading is fundamental, okay? Now it's time for the Entrepreneur of the Week. And so y'all know I've been wearing these little hair wraps. I am locking my hair up under this scarf and I will wear it out at some point, but I'm trying to get past that locking stage, okay? That initial locking stage. So I've been into hair wraps. I found a company that is black owned that sells beautiful wraps. And with Christmas coming up, this is a great idea for the person in your life that may wear scarves as well. So we're gonna check out wrapped by nails. So we're gonna go over and take a look at her Instagram first and then we're gonna check out how you can purchase one of these scarves if you so choose to. Okay, this is her Instagram, wrapped by nails. And as you can see, we are already following her. For good and bad hair days, made to order and shifts in seven to 14 business days or less. She was featured in Essence and in Style Magazine. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at her Instagram. She has some beautiful wraps and she also has a few reels on how to wrap these scarves. I actually have uh, this one right here, this yellow, black, and red one. And I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to tie it to look nice. Y'all gonna see that in another video, okay? So we're gonna go back up here and we'll just visit her shop. Her scarves are a pretty decent price, okay? She has some that are $15 and it goes on up to $28. Um, but these are nice patterns, like that's a decent price. So. And I don't know if you also, uh, if you guys like hair wraps and you've seen Yaya Costa, she has a thing that she does on her Instagram called Wraps and Wraps, Wraps, W-R-A-P-S and Wraps, R-A-P-S. She wraps 
she shows you how she does her raps and she raps the song at the same time. So that's pretty cool too. I might include that in the uh, description below. But here are some of her head wraps. Definitely check her out. I'm gonna include all of that in the description below, okay? And when you get over there, let her know that you heard about her on Relationship Entertainment Television and your girl, Demita Jo sent you, okay? Okay, now it's time for yay or nay. Now today's yay or nays are a bit interesting, okay? I don't know if you heard over the past week, uh, Tamar Braxton had a show and Christian Rock showed up. Somebody was assaulted in Tamar's camp, apparently, allegedly, by Christian Rock. I don't know what was going on there, but what I wanted to bring to you guys was there was a picture taken of Tony Braxton and Tamar and Christian was in the picture. Now, I'm just gonna say at the top, at first glance, I thought Tamar was Wendy Williams, but then I realized it was Tamar. But Krishan Rock is bending over in this picture. Well, it's a video, but they were taking a picture and Tony Braxton's face said everything. So I just want to show this to you guys. I'm going to come back and ask y'all a yay or nay. This is like a two second clip. And then I'm going to show you a close up of Tony Braxton's reaction, okay? Okay, and so here's Tony Braxton's reaction. <laughs> okay, you can't take some people anywhere, okay? I don't know what Krishan's doing. She is, she is still young, you know what I mean? And she is going through a lot, all right? But my yay or nay for you guys is, uh, do you think Tony and Tamar had a, an explicit conversation when all of this was all over that day? Like, what do y'all think she was thinking? Caption her look, that's what I want you to do. As usual, get into those comments on that Instagram. I will post it in the description because the comments are hilarious, okay? So the next yay or nay is, um, I'm gonna link this one in the description below. I'm not gonna be able to show the footage because it is graphic content and you'll understand why as we get into it. Now, it is a ring video. It's a ring camera video of someone that caught this mom on camera abusing her child, okay? It was really disgusting, but I'm gonna show you the screenshot of it and then I'm gonna come back with a little more commentary. First, let me shout out Nika at Night. Nika at Night is always on top of these stories. And so I'm gonna link this in the description below so you can go ahead and check out the full thing as well as all the comments, okay? But take a look at this really quick. So this is Nika at Night's Instagram. And it says, a South Florida woman is facing charges after she was caught on a neighbor's surveillance camera Tuesday beating her toddler son, including picking him up and throwing him on the ground. Now this lady's only 29, um, but she's been charged with two felony accounts of child abuse according to the police report. She was being held on $5,000 bond. But as the newscaster said, this is something, whether you are a parent or not, this is pure disgust. For a human being, let alone this boy's mother, to do something like this to him it is uh, ridiculous, okay? But they also said this is a wonderful case of see something, say something. Now, as I said, I'm not going to show you the video, but I will link it in the description below, but I'll describe to you what I saw. Now, it looked like she was coming into the apartment apartment building. He didn't want to move fast as she wanted him to move. She like yanked them. She slapped them down. She kicked them. It was really, really crazy. Now, the yay or nay that I have for you, you know, and I know my people are going to make me proud with this one. Would you, if you were the neighbor and you were home, now this neighbor probably wasn't home, but they, shout out to them, sent the video to the proper authorities, right? I would have definitely done that. So my yay or nay for you is like, is say that you were home and you happened to catch this while it was happening. Would you have opened the door and showed that lady what it felt like for somebody to be doing what she was doing to her son? I just wanna know, yay or nay, get in the comments below. So the last yay or nay is in conjunction with the story I talked about earlier with Bobby Storm, the singer who almost got put off the Delta flight, okay? There's an update. Delta reached out and made it right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play her latest response because she don't want y'all calling Delta no more, okay? She doesn't want the man to get in trouble. Here's her response. Hey, you guys, it's rest day for me. So the hair is looking a little crazy, but I wanted to follow up with you guys on Delta. Um, they did reach out to me. So whoever called, <laughs> um, 
I, I, I can't say thank you because I don't want this man to be reprimanded um, where he loses his job. I simply want us to keep in mind how to treat each other. And um, there was no rules being broken. Um, and it was just me spreading my joy with people after they gave me the go to do so. So I just hope that if he watches this, he's able to learn a valuable lesson on how to treat other people. But I just want to say you guys can stop reaching out to Delta. They have apologized and they are fans of Maverick City. So the best way you guys can support me and my music is by just streaming my single, We Can't Forget Them, and going to check out Maverick City and praying that we take home the Grammys that we're nominated for. Um, I thank you guys for all of your support. Everybody has opinions, so it's not stopping anything on this good Saturday morning. God bless you all and lead with love on purpose. Okay, now this is why I put this in yay or nay, because as you can see, you know, like I said, there are so many different kinds of people on the planes and I can see a lot of people not being into the same thing. So this is kind of boiling down to like, people are saying that she was wrong, right? I don't know. I look at this as like a mindset thing. I think it's all about how you look at it. If I was on a plane going somewhere, I would be in a good mood, I guess. But it depends on where you were going. Things that happen on a plane, if it's not serious, I don't know. I don't know how serious I would have taken this. Like, I believe in God and... As you can see in her post, God got the glory on that. The Delta executives did not ag agree that she did something wrong, right? So, you know, everybody has their opinions, like she said in the video. But I, I feel like it's boiling down to just a way that people look at stuff. Because if you can have a regular flight with multiple babies just crying and screaming for nothing, and we got to deal with that, like, what is the problem with a person who can sing singing for a few minutes and then we all go you know forth on our flight i don't know maybe i'm looking at it the wrong way but i don't know but that is just my personal opinion i don't think homegirl did anything wrong i think that you know when you're on a plane and you're traveling you see certain things i mean somebody might rap somebody might sing somebody might do a dance in the aisle somebody might even be drunk on the flight who knows but i don't think this was serious enough for dude to be as uh you know stern as he was even though yes he was polite it was like come on now you know calm down but get in the comments below yay or nay do you guys think that she was wrong or no thank you guys for watching another episode of what's going on don't forget you can still find us on roku tv and you can download the app for ios or android i'm your girl demita joe and i'll see you guys in the next video Hey, it's your girl, Tia Robertson. I'm the host of Entrepreneur Insider. Right here on IETV, every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern for entrepreneurs and news that you need to know about. See you there.
Welcome to What's Going On. My name is Demita Joe. Each Wednesday, you can find me here at 3 p.m. I'll be over here discussing different things that are going on and try to bring you a boost of positivity for your week because we all need this. We're going to share some feel-good stories. We might find a hometown hero. We may take a look at some trending topics. And sometimes we might even find a lesson in a not so warm and fuzzy story if we can. I'm Demita Joe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode right here on What's Going On.